name is Tracy Jackson and today I would like to inform you a little bit about body modification and also say that the enthusiastic body modifier is just a person that really wants to do what they will with their bodies. Now, um, most people in, at times have tried to change their looks, whether it be from, you know, hairstyle, makeup, to um, facelifts and boob lifts, um, or you can go to the most, more extreme people who kind of step outside of the box and tattoo themselves or pierce themselves. And in fact, I would be one of those people. Now, um, I've had different body modifications done, um, and I love them. It is all really, really true about what they say about tattoos being addicting. You know, you can't just get one. Now, I'm going to discuss um, different types of body modification, um, how that was done thousands of years ago, and a little bit about what's popular today. So, we're going to start off with what is body modification and adornment. Now, adornment, it's the practice of physically enhancing your body or your looks. Um, as you can see, it's the use of makeup, as I told you. Um, you can have your nails done, that's considered adornment, hair done. Um, it's temporary, is when the difference between adornment and modification. Now, as I said, modification is permanent. Um, it's either surgically, um, you know, having surgery done, piercings, tattoos, um, they can even go to the extreme such as genital mutilation. Now, body piercing has been um, practiced by thousands of year, years ago by different cultures. Um, you have the ancient piercings for adornment, and the Saturians, they wore nipple rings. You have the Bornea men who um, pierced their genitals. And then you also had um, the India, in India in the 16th century, they, they wore nose rings. Now, they pierced the bodies for other reasons, okay? Some of those other reasons, the Hebrews, they uh, marked their slaves with body piercings. The Mayans pierced for different types of rituals and also, also for um, sexual purposes. And then you have um, also piercings for um, different types of social status and rites of passage. Now, Okay, body piercing and tattoos have become very mainstream, but then there are still types that um, will never be mainstream. In fact, they're um, very extreme and considered somewhat socially unacceptable. And to a hardcore type, or to a body modifier, those type of um, modifications are called hardcore. So, I'd first like to talk about the hardcore body mo modifications. Um, they're very bizarre and, as I said, socially unacceptable. Some of those are considered suspension, tongue splitting, and ear shaping. Let's talk about ear shaping. Ear shaping is a contemporary type of mod modification. Um, they crop your ears and point them, and they remove the cartilage when they're doing that so you have points. Now, it is um, a self-procedure and usually done by a cutter because you, know, you can't find a surgeon that's going to alter your ears like that. And then you have tongue splitting. Tongue splitting is considered an extreme form of modification. And they take your tongue at the very tip and slit it backwards. And a lot of people do this for um, like maybe sexual enhancement. Uh, it is um, illegal actually for a surgeon to perform. So if you're doing it, it's done by a self-procedure. And then you have um, suspension, which is really an extreme form of body play. And it is, you're hung by your flesh through holes on your back and suspended in the air. Now, I me mean, personally, I find that rather repulsive, but some people are into that. Now, it's really done privately or with a partner, and it's done for sexual purposes. And also, um, they say you get a feeling, your senses get a feeling of euphoria, and it takes you to a place where, you know, most people don't go. So, um, and it's also illegal in some states, from what I understand. Now, and I've took this information out of the Encyclopedia of Body Adornment by Margot DeMello. It was published in the year 2007. Um, I would like to just give you some final thoughts. Body modification was being performed thousands of years ago and by different cultures, and people were either pierced for different reasons like punishment and pleasure, social status. 
Um, over time, it's progressed from unusual to sometimes somewhat bizarre, as you can see from these. And my final thought, you know, as you can see, there are many different ways a person can change the way they look or their bodies. Um, whether it's just um, a little makeup, like I said, or a facelift, or you decide to go for the extreme modification and get your tongue split. <laughs> now, um, all of these are considered body modification, and I would like to thank you for joining me for my presentation.